into uh, parliament uh, and you, you resign from that party, then you have to go back for a by-election, a re-election, to seek the mandate. That existed at the period when they had the KPU. Then, after KPU was banned, we had now a de facto one-party state. Uh, de facto. From 1969 to 1982, when they came up with another amendment that made the country now a de jure single party. Now you either are a member of just Kanu, that is the only when you can be elected. And if you were uh, suspended or expelled from the party, you automatically lost your parliamentary seat. And by election was, was held in your constituency. That went on until we put pressure for repeal of Section 2A and allowing for formation of other political parties, which we achieved in 1991. After that, we had the first multi party elections in 1992. And then we went into parliament. We had Kanu. For the Kenya, for the Sili, and the DP. Uh, we had also uh, Kenya Social Congress of the late George Anyona. After the swearing in, oh, uh, not just the, the swearing in and the election of the Speaker, before Parliament was officially inaugurated by the President, some members defected. One from Port Kenya, one from the DP. And this now occasioned a by-election. They were defecting to the ruling party, to Kanu. But the requirement is that if you defect from the party that sponsored you in the parliament, you have to go for a by-election. And we have by-elections in Migori and in uh, Bonchari. This one we have by-elections in uh, Lugari. When a Pili Wawiri, the MP then defected. There was also a by election in uh, um, uh, Hamisi when the member of parliament, the late Mr. Haniri, de defected. Later on, we had by elections in uh, Ikolomani, in Lurambi, in uh, um, Shinyalu members they are defected. We had also by elections in Diwa and Nyatiki constituency. Each time a member of parliament left the party that sponsored them to parliament, they had to resign and go and seek fresh mandate. That was the rule. I myself resigned from the party that had sponsored me into elections for Kenya when we disagreed irreparably with the leadership, I resigned and went and sought a fresh mandate from the people of Langat, and I was re-elected. This was the, the situation during all that period of time until now we came to 2010 constitution. The 2010 constitution now created a presidential system of government. But all the same, it's still it says clearly that Kenya is a multi-party democracy. Kenya is a multi-party democracy. A multi-party democracy, mature multi-party democracies, there is nothing like defection. U.S. you see a situation like the last time, there was only one member different between the Republicans and the Democrats. But the, the situation where at a member of a, a Democrat would, re, would, would defect to go and join a Republican is unthinkable. There are very few cases in history. It will not work. In the UK, it's unthinkable of the Labour Party will defect and join the Tories. It has not, you are elected on this party's mandate and you remain the member of that party unless you are expelled from the party. I mean, I remember the party. In the German parliament, the same. You are a Christian Democrat, a Christian Socialist, 
you are a, a social democrat, and so on and so forth. This is the direction we must go in this country. 